Hi all, welcome back. Today I am going to perform a small video on uh, how to configure a DHCP relay agent in Power2 Pyro. Uh, this is a small network, uh, small topology. Uh, this is a continuation of DHCP server uh, lamp. So uh, in that uh, we got in that lamp. So Paul Volto is firewall is going to assign a, and act as a DHCP server. So in terms, uh, it will assign the IP address to the host. So now we got a dedicated uh, firewall, uh, the dedicated uh, Windows server which is acting as a DHCP server. So for that, uh, it is uh, uh, I have put it in uh, DMZ zone. So for that, I have configured as a 192.168.2.2 as IP so everything will be remain same so first I will go to the network and I will delete this DHCP and commit the changes so meanwhile uh, I have configured the IP addresses and uh, apart from that uh, I have assigned the IP addresses and I have not yet even configured the DHCP uh, feature, so we will do right away. Okay, uh, now the server manager is up and running. So, for I will go to the local server so you can see the IP address what I have configured. Okay, so I have given a computer name as SRV and domain as CHKP local, and firewall is on, and Ethernet I have configured as 192.162.2. And I have an AD and uh, I have installed the AD. Uh, pitches and uh, DNS and we will go install the uh, DHCP uh, role or feature go to the manage and add roles and features click on next next and next so here is the DHCP server add features click on next click on next click on next and install it will not take much time to install the uh, DHCP features okay you can see the installation started on srv.chkp.local uh, configuration requires installation succeeded on this one and come to the DHCP configuration click on this one it will ask for the description so create the following security tips and yes it is users click on next so i want to use the use the alternative credentials administrator click on commit close close and go to the tools and here the dhcp you can see the THCP go to the IPv4 and here is the server options you can add a new scope right click and add a new scope click on next you can provide any name DHCP pool click on next start IP so I want to give 168 1.0 not from here not 160 and then that is 192.168.200 with this line and this slash 24 click on next and uh, this is for the exclusive and delay like where is that you want to exclude this is for the exclude options so i don't want to exclude any options click on next so this is the least duration click on next Configuration DHCP option. Yes, I want to configure these options now. Click on next. So I want to have the uh, default gateway. So the default gateway for 81 slash 2 is 192.168.1.100. 192.168.1.100. Click on add next. And you want to have a new uh, domain and as well as a DNS. So I want to add DNS as 888. Click on and click on next. I don't have been service 
click on next yes activate scope so i want to activate this dhcd full scope click on finish so once after that so you can see uh in this you can you can see server address pool so my server address pool is 181.168.1.100 and you can keep the reservations and you can um, uh, allow or uh, deny any specific uh, DHCP IP addresses or DHCP pool so now uh, we will create a DHCP relay the network and a DHCP in that DHCP relay click on add so interface is 1 slash 2 and click on IPv4 and we don't have any IPv6 uh, details so click on add so i want to add a server which is which where it is residing what is the ip address of that server my ip address is 192.168.2.2 here click on ok so i have added the php relay server and details so to work this one so i need to create a rule uh, because i don't have any rule from my inside to outside click on that to create a new rule convention dhcp rule so go to the source so we need uh, both inside and dmg and function as uh, dmg and Inside. and you can, you can allow any applications or if you want to particularly allow only the DHCP so you can type DHCP here and any services action is allowed click on ok and commit the changes okay, we got the configuration committed successfully so go to the windows source machine and now go to the PC2 the CMD and the P config. So we got the 192.168.1.160 as IP address. Okay, now we will do the uh, connectivity test to whether uh, PC is reaching to the internet or not. Clear and pin the ATNS, Google DNS. Yes, I have the connectivity. Now we will browse something. Uh, so uh, for that whether I'm getting um, it or not go to the monitor and go to the session browser so we can see the so many hits too so now we will check whether the THCP is coming or not under this long so go to this PC in the Windows test machine and right go to the CPF and right click disable and enable this one and check the IP content so we got the same IP address and go to the monitor and refresh the page so here we can see the DHCP log So, I hope uh, this video has been informative for you and I'd like to say thank you for watching.